Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and I'm going to do a bit of a different video today. I've been asked by a couple of people if I would do a quick video on how I put the little booklets together that I use when I'm doing tutorials. Um, so the little books that I put together um, are the screenshots of all of the files that you get in one of my SVG um, packages. So this one's the newest one, the Essentia, and there's quite a lot of um, files in here. And I just put this together so that you can, I can easily refer to which pieces I'm using and I sort of go through and show you which pieces that I'm using and, and um, show you in this little booklet here. So um, a few people have asked me um, to do a video on how to put it together so that they could have their own and um, you know keep it by their computer or their Cricut and it would make it easy to refer to. So that's what I'm going to do today. So these are all my books um, that I have done so far and I noticed the other day when I did the intro to the Essentia um, and I also had the add-ons that I've messed up the quatrefoil one. I put the wrong pictures in the wrong spots and so it was a bit out of order. So I needed to do another one of those. So that seemed like a good enough reason to do one of these again and to do it on camera. So let's put these all to the side. And I will get out the... So this was the cover that I had made previously and I've just taken out the pages that are in the middle because I messed them up. Uh, but this is just a um, letter sized piece of cardstock that I've just folded in half and I've inked around the edges and it's already got the holes in there because I already had the, some pages in there but I took them out. Uh, the cover itself is just a cut out of the front page that um, comes with it and underneath there is just a book page that's it I didn't do anything fancy you know, I have done much fancier ones obviously so the Essentia has got a bit of collaging and you could just, you know go to town and collage yourself the embroidery looks pretty fancy the Memoria was the first one that I did so that one's kind of pretty and the look around still my favorite I love this one. I really love making the little grants and I would like to make some more of those. So, But anyway, let's get on with making one today. So when you purchase any of the um, SVG packs, the embroidery or the memory, any of them, you get a PDF um, guide. And so here's the PDF guide that I've printed out. This is exactly what you would get. Um, this is exactly the file, the PDF file that you get when you um, download them. So there's um, a few, there's the cover page, two pages of blabbing from me with some links to the YouTube playlist and um, a link to the how to upload the videos. So those are those there. And then we get into the actual um, screenshots themselves. So I thought I would use this and put together my um, my little booklet and uh, you know there's really nothing to it so let's just start off, I've got some blank paper there, I'll need that in a minute and I'll just put this to the side and all I'm going to do is get out my cutting machine, my cutting machine, my little, what is this thing anyway, cutting board tool, I don't know. And all I do is trim these down so that they will fit on a page. So I'm not even very precise about it, I have to say. Um, so I'll start by trimming them all down the middle. Like so. Um, I'll put them in order later because I'll get them out of order about a dozen times. And that's where it all went wrong before. So these files are for the Quatrefoil um, window pockets and I'm about to do a video on these. Uh, so I definitely need this, this little booklet. Right. So I hope everyone's keeping well. I'm not necessarily one who's really good at doing chit chat. I wonder, you know, how much how much do you 
really want to know. I know I watch lots of YouTube videos and I like listening to people chit chat, but I don't I don't know what to chit chat about, really. So I'm just going to trim these down um, pretty much as close to the edge as I can get and it doesn't even matter to me that they're not the same size. I just want to make sure that they will fit on a page. And we've got our rubbish to the side. I just want to make sure that I don't trim off that, um, that title. And I need to be a bit more careful with my, when I put the, um, this bit down, don't I? Because I think it wobbles the camera. Because my camera is on a tripod right in front of me on my desk, so every time I wobble the desk, the tripod moves. Okay. So these um, Scotia foil files that I'm trimming up here, that one's a little one, isn't it? Could've made that bit bigger. Oh well. Um, uh, window pocket add-ons for the Essencia mini album and they look like when they cut out they look like this so but this is just um, what they look like what they'll look like on your screen minus the writing that that's not there so that's what these ones look like that's what we're trimming out to in our booklet Um, I would like to have um, made this into a proper PDF booklet, uh, but the couple of things there is that I like to do it double-sided and not everybody can print things double-sided, which means that if I had set it up so that all of the pages were in the correct order to go in a booklet style, they will, if you couldn't print it out as a booklet, then they would be really out of order. So I thought the easiest thing to do was to make it a normal PDF. And then if you want to go ahead and make a booklet like this, you can. You, If you're pretty savvy, you could do this kind of a thing, but in the actual PDF itself. But my mind kind of boggled. I did try to do that because on a page, on one page, let's have a little look here. On one page, and I'm using A4, but you use whatever is good for you, whatever is, you know, I know letter is popular in some countries. If I fold it in half, then I can't just have, oh, I can't even fold straight today. I can't have them in order um, that they would necessarily come in because you'll have another page in the middle and it'll be all out of whack. I hope you, I hope you know what I mean. I feel like I'm not explaining that very well. Anyway, this is how I do it. Um, you, I don't know, you might not have noticed on camera that they're all just um, pieces of paper cut out and stuck down. Here's the one that I have messed up. See, I've got narrow pockets and mats two next to short pockets and mats two, which is completely wrong. So, but as you can see, it's just stuck on. So we're just gonna do that. So let's trim these out. I just wanna make them small enough to go on my piece of paper. And this one here as well. Really looking forward to starting to put an album together. Once I've done this booklet, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's that one. We'll just pop that to the side for a minute. And then we'll try and fold these better. So these are A4 sheets of paper. You use letter if that's what you have. And so each file, I put each file um, one of these files on the page. So in this instance, I have 11 files. 
So uh, there's four sides to each one of these. One, two, three, four. So for 11 files, I'll need three sheets of paper. So the way to work it out is just to take the number of files and divide by four. And then you'll know how many sheets of paper you need. So this is just a small little package of 11 files. So I'm just going to pop those together like so. And then I'm just going to put them all together like that. So I have three on top of each other in a signature. And then I'm just going to bring out my cover that I made before and I would like to reuse that. So if I just pop that in here and close it up, it is sticking out over the edge. And the other thing is the pages aren't even and that kind of bugs me. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little line here so I know that it has to go to at least there. And then I'm going to trim them all down. So I think it would be easy to just line this up along my edge here pretty much and I'm just going to trim it off so that we're just sitting just inside my cover like so and then what will happen is my little tags that I make will stick out the edge but I'm totally okay with that 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 doesn't bother me at all I think um, see the broidery, they stick out a little bit, never bothered me. On the memory I did a bit differently but I decided that that was more effort than it was worth. So the La Grande, they stick out a little bit, I don't mind. Oh I miss you a little bit. Okay so that's it and then put this down. I am going to stitch these three pages in. So I'm just going to, so what I would normally do is line these up and I'll just grab a couple of little post clips here. Oh, and they're, well, they're always stuck together. <laughs> okay, a couple of paper clips. And I'm just going to make sure that it's sitting pretty much in the center. I feel like it's a bit out of whack. What's going on? Okay. So um, it's sort of centered from here to here. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to plug that one in there to hold it there. And then the same on this side. So what I would normally do then is measure it. Let's do that anyway, but then I have to do it a bit differently because I've already got holes. So what I think I normally do is measure it and find about halfway. Now I think from memory that was about 10.8 uh, centimetres. I work in centimetres. You work in inches or what, however it is that you do. And then I just do 2 centimetres, which is just less than an inch in from each side, like so. And then I find my awl, which is this little guy here. This is a really old awl. It was my grandmother's and I bet she had it for a really long time. So it's like a family heirloom. So, and then I just push holes through here. So I'm really hoping that my hole that I push through is gonna line up. I'm not sure that it is, but let's give it a go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just gonna push through there. That one pretty much lined up, and this one through here. And I, yay! I did pretty well. Don't get ahead of yourself, Katie. Okay. okay, so um, we have our holes. Now I'm just going to stitch them into place. So I like to use this twine. I don't know, I think I've heard people call it butcher's twine. 
So, and to get it through my needle, I just fan out and flatten that end bit. And then I grab a little bit of sticky tape, just regular old sticky tape, cellar tape, whatever you call it. And I just put my bit of tape around there and then fold it over and fold it over. I'm, with, I'm trying to keep it really flat so it'll fit through the hole in my needle. And then I'm just going to trim it off. I'm just going to trim it off. Come on, scissors. Okay. So that I have this little long bit of sticky tape that I should be able to thread through my needle. And then just with sheer force, I pull it through. So I've got my glasses on. Yes. So, and then I just pull it through. It's quite easy. So it gets a bit, bit, gets a bit more difficult as you pull it down, but that's okay. We don't have to go far. Right, and then I'll just trim off that bit of sticky tape and then throw it away. Okay, and then I'm going to measure my book once, twice, and maybe a little bit more for luck. And snip that off. Okay, so this is just a three hole pamphlet stitch, and I'm pretty sure that everybody's seen how to do this, but in just in case you haven't. If you want the if you want the tails of your string to be in the center on the center of the book, then you would start by putting you would start with putting your needle in through the center in the middle of the book. I like mine to be on the outside, like you see here. So I start on the outside and center hole. So I just feed it through that center hole, like so, and pull it through. And then make sure you've got a bit of a tail left. Feed it. Uh, so I've come from the outside to the inside. I've left myself a bit of a tail. And then I'm going to go from the inside to the outside through the top hole. And pull it all the way through. Make sure my tail doesn't disappear. And I'm going to come all the way down on the outside and go through my bottom hole from the outside to the inside. And then I'm going to go back up to the center and go through that hole again. When I go through this hole, I'm going to pull my needle through and I want it to come up on the opposite side from my tail, the opposite side of this string from my tail. So I'm just going to push my tail, my string through there and pull it up. And that's it. Make sure that it's sitting nicely. And then we can tie it off. I'm sure that there's some fancy knot that you're supposed to do. Uh, I do a fancy knot called a double granny. <laughs> I just do a granny knot and tie it up. And then I just trim my, my um, string off. And it's a pages in our book. And then all we need to do is take those paper clips off. Is I just make sure I've got these in order first? So I'll just go through and make sure that they're in order. So let's grab these. So N O. Oh, that's Q P Q. R S T U V W Whoops and X. Oh that looks pretty good. Okay, so on my front page I'm going to use this um, front um, I'm just gonna trim this down. So, so that's my front page. So this one's gonna start here. N O and I just lay this out first just to make sure that I've got it right before I start sticking. P, Q, R, S, T, U, 
the W, oh W, you're a bit chunky, and X. Perfect. So then I just go through with my glue and stick each of them in. So I have found my glue is a bit uh, not great. So I think my glue is the reason why I get marks on here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just use a glue stick and see how that goes. So I'm going to start with N. Just put a bit of glue stick on there. I should have put my uh, piece of plastic craft mat down. I've forgotten. And I just pop this down and I try to get it fairly close to the, the middle of the book, the, the spine area and just sort of, you know, put it down like so. Push it down. And just go through and do that for all of them. Let's see how this um, glue stick does. Usually I just use my um, craft glue. But the thing I'm finding is that I think it sort of bleeds through and does something to the ink. And that's why I've been getting these marks on my books. Uh, let me see if I'll show you. It happened in the Essentia. I tried really hard to not let it happen. Um, so it started off okay. But then see this? I think this is a bleed through from the, the glue. And it's make, it makes my ink go funny. Uh, it was really bad in one spot but I'm just going to live with it because this is you know here look at that I think you can see it straight off there and onto there I'm just going to live with it I'm trying to let go of my um, perfectionistic ways and um, just let it go Otherwise, you never get anything done. Okay, put this guy down. So I'm just going to go through and stick all of these down. So you probably don't want to watch me do all of that. That's really as much as I do. The reason I put it right over, and I did not need to put that one so far over, but well, remember, Katie, we're living with it, um, is because then I've cut out these little tabs. So... I just cut these out on my Cricut and folded them in half and I think that there are tabs like this in the access, um, you know, in access um, photo um, pictures, files, images um, and if there isn't you can just find one on Pinterest and, and upload it. And then I've just really just used my Dymo and of course if you did this on your Cricut you could go through and um, put the text on here, but I did try that on my old computer and it kept freezing. So I got a little, I got a little bit fed up with it. So then I'm just, I can just pop this on here for my long pockets, like so. But before I do that, I should have a look at this. I want to, now this is bigger than what I would normally use. You can see here that I've I've shrunk it down a bit, but I had the JPEG. So I could do that, whereas this is the PDF. But what I'm thinking is, I could just sort of lay this on here, knowing that this is the size of my this is the size of my cover. So it probably needs to be a little bit smaller again. But I'll just draw around it like so, and then. You could put this on your cover if you wanted to because I've already got one on my cover. And I'm just going to trim it out and I'm not particularly worried. I know that um, it needs to be smaller than my um, than my cover because my page is small because we've trimmed it down. Um, so I'm just going to trim that off. Okay, so this is where I probably need to pay a bit more attention because I don't want to cut the, the writing off. So, trim it out there, see if we can get a bit closer to the cue. Oh, okay, 
going to cut the cube off. No. Alright, so let's see if that fits on our front page. It, it does. It's really tight. I think I want to just take that, that tiny little sliver off there if I can. And that's pretty small. Can I do a bit more? You can see <laughs> I'm so precise in a lot of things I do, especially with making the, C, um, the SVG files because you, obviously if you want to stick them together um, and perfectly then you have to be really precise but by the time I get around to making these books I'm not quite so precise. <laughs> so then I'm just going to stick that in there so you could ink around it if you wanted to. I might, I might round my edges, round my corners I mean. I'm just get out my corner around it. Here we go. So I'm ready to start making my um, my album and my first album. So it's going to be the Essentia and I'm going to start by doing a two page landscape um, album. And uh, are you going to fit? It's going to be tight. Um, the thing that I'm really waiting for is magnets. I ordered some, admittedly, from AliExpress. Now I find it usually takes about three weeks, but it's been over a month now. And obviously, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but there's no, there's hardly any planes. Um, of course, there's no passenger planes, really. And there's a few coming back, bringing people back home before they can't come because, well, our borders were closed completely last night. If you're watching this after the event, I'm talking about coronavirus. Um, so the West Australian borders um, are being what they're calling hard closed. They were soft closed before. And now they're hard closing them. Okay, so that's my front page. And then I can go through and stick my little um, tags on here. So this first one is long pockets. So I put it. I try to put it on the page before it. So you know when you open it up. I know. Okay, that one. And I just flip it over, and there they are. Um, it's up to you if you want them on the actual page themselves. However, it works for you. So I just put a bit of glue on each end of those and then I line it up and slide it on. And that's just a little bit long for my writing here, but you know, we'll get over it. Like there. Okay. So that is that. So then I will go through after I've put all the, well I could probably do it. So now I can put my short pockets one here, so I will put it here. So here it is. I, I made the labels with my little Dymo. Did I mention that? Just use my little Dymo. And then make the labels. I think I did mention that. Okay, so that's it. So I'll just go along and finish um, sticking all of those little pages in and sticking my little tags here on so that uh, so I'm just going to line this up with this one like so make sure I've lined it up properly here stick it down yeah so I'll just go through finish adding these little tags and finish adding my little pages and that's it I'll be done uh, so if that's I hope that's helpful if um, if you're interested in making your own little books and then you can just, as I say, keep them beside your Cricut or beside your computer and it's really easy just to find what you're looking for and flip through them. You might also like to write the file number letters on here. So for the long pockets, they're N and O. So you might just want to put N slash O on here so you know easily that that's what they are. And the short pockets are R, S and T. I think. Oh, look. Yeah. Long pockets. I've stuffed this up again. Long pockets one and two. Short pockets three. Oh, it's lucky I haven't stuck any more in. Alright. I'm going to go back and fix that because I nearly 
going to begin. Can you believe that? Narrow pockets one, narrow pockets two, narrow pockets three. Oh, have you been screaming at me? Where are all my short pockets? There we go. Short pockets one, short pockets two, short pockets three, narrow pockets one. Did I have that right? I don't know. I've messed this up so many times, obviously. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. So that's what I do. That's how I make a book. Um, so I hope that you um, make your own and it makes it easier to follow along in the tutorials and to keep um, keep the files themselves organised and everything on your desk. So thanks for hanging out and watching this quick little video today. I hope it's really helpful to you. Um, as you can see there was nothing special about it whatsoever. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.